okay so now let's start creating the new project so file new project let's call this as manipulate objects choose the class uh, library.net framework and select the folder that you want to store it okay All right, so we now have our first uh, our project here. So remember, in every new project, we have to add the reference to those uh, three .NET API, AC Core MGD, AC MGD, and the AC DB MGD. They are all located in your AutoCAD installation. Okay, and don't forget to set the copy local property to false just to make sure that it doesn't cause any conflict with AutoCAD during compilation okay now that we have all the references and set the copy local property to false we can uh, provide the namespaces but let's just get rid of these uh, preloaded namespaces so using Autodesk at AutoCAD that we need the application services using Autodesk that AutoCAD that we need the database services using Autodesk that AutoCAD what is the namespace to uh, that's being used to create a command it, that, that is the runtime and since we are creating a new object into the model space we need a we need the namespace for that which is the geometry okay so let's just use the existing class one here you can delete this one and create a new one but for our exercise we'll just use that so now we can start creating our method public uh, static void let's call this as just a single copy but before we forget we have to specify the command method let's just call this a single copy as well okay so the first thing that we need to get is a handle for our the the drawing object so get the current document and database so document let's just initialize the doc that would be in the application document manager that MDI active document the current drawing database DB equals doc database now we can start a transaction so using a transaction trans equals db that uh, we have the transaction manager that start the, the transaction so before we start coding for the the object that we are going to create and then copy it's always a good practice to provide a try catch block so that if ever there is an exception we can catch it here now we can start writing our code here so basically we need to open the block table for reading so block table let me initialize it to bt and bt should be trans that get object db dot block table id open mode that for reading as block table next we need to get the block uh, table record 
model space for writing so block table record initialized to btr and it should be trans that get object so the parameters here is the bt and then the key is the block table record that model space that it should be open mode for writing as block table record all right now we can create our new entity in this case we're just going to create a new circle create a circle mm, that is a center point at 2 and 3 with a radius of 4.25 so in order to do that we will be using the using construct again circle let's just initialize it to c1 and it should be a new circle so now that we have initialized here c1 variable for the circle we can specify now the the center which is in the new point uh, 3d two three zero this is specified in our requirement here and then c1 the radius would be uh, 4.25 so we now have our first circle and we have to make sure that we add the new object to the block table record so btr dot append entity and then the, the new circle that we just created and also in the trans we have to create or add the newly created db object this is c1 and then to add it is true okay next we are going to clone this object so in order to do that let's just create a copy of the circle and maybe change its uh, radius so in order to do that we have to create a, a new circle let's call this a c1 clone now we have to use the clone function so which object we're going to clone this one here c1 c1 dot clone then we have to cast that as a circle there you go so now we have a new circle based on this circle here but let's change it to to you one i mean the radius to one c1 clone that radius equals one so basically this is a circle that's inside of this circle they have the same uh, center point but the radius is different and as well we have to add the clone circle into the block table record append entity c1 clone and also in the transaction a newly created object c1 clone and add it true okay and now we can save our transaction i mean commit our transaction so let's handle the catch just in case there are some errors during the execution of this code block here inside the try so let's uh, make sure that we handle it properly so let's just provide the user with a message on what happened error encountered let's just get the message the error message and then 
since we have an error we have to abort the transaction as if uh, nothing happens okay so this is all about our code let's now save it and then build the solution all right one succeeded so this uh, video is getting longer now i'm going to stop here and in the next video we will load it in autocad and see how it goes i'll see you there